and terrified. It would be so easy to find God at this moment. So easy to take it, revel in it. Grace, God, Jesus. Insert coping mechanism here. After all, I'm the perfect candidate for finding God. Depression, anxiety, premarital sex, drugs, no money, no education. You get the picture. I just drank a bottle of Tussin DM. Everyone laughed and asked, What, are you 13? I never did these things when I was 13. So is she right? Am I just a child? Alas, I digress. So here I am on the tail end of a DXM trip, slightly stoned and full of shitty pizza, and part of me wants to just give up. Give up, give in, and get a real job. Finish school, make a ton of money, and never touch a piano again. A worm-tongued voice whispers, because you're 25 and you know in your heart of hearts that music is existence and you don't have a shot, yet you try and try. But you don't really try because you just spent the last six hours sitting on a couch eating pizza and getting gone. But another voice screams inside you and says, wait, have faith. The TV you are watching are the democratic debates. You realize as you sit there that you're not a kid anymore. They don't make the decisions as to who is president, as to what is done in your name. It is done by you. Apathy is killing us. We are a nation of sleepers numbed out on TV reality and we hide because these decisions are too big to affect our daily lives so we ignore them and question how the fuck we got into this quagmire. Yet how can anyone endure the truth long enough not to shut down? Everyone debating is plastic. Everyone was a politician. We don't really have choice. No one can be trusted to be looking out for America's best interests because no one really knows what the fuck the best interests for America are in the first place. Moreover, how the hell do we get so arrogant to believe self-interest has higher moral standing than someone else's? Democrat over Republican. American over Iraqi. American over the world. The world over the universe. Humanity over all else. Me over me. It has to be the ego, the awareness of self that plans in the minds of men that they inherit the right to dominion. Because they exist, and they know they exist, so they need to protect that. My thought processes, my musings keep taking me back to biblical analogies. How bittersweet the fruit from the tree of knowledge is. How nuanced the hand that wrote that. How angry it makes me the usurpers of metaphor rape these parables, these beautiful poems, and use them to dominate. My God. The courage of Eve, of woman to partake of the fruit. How strong in conviction to birth humanity and the full responsibility for actions, knowledge, and existence. And this is why I can't give up and find God. This is why I will wake in a few hours and sit down behind the piano and write a song and exist with the wholeness in that moment. I'll go to work, sell some wine, go home, write some more, and play a show. And hope someday someone might think that what I made was worth it, understand it, or hell maybe even buy a record. All I can do is hope. Just wait on the sun